Hello and welcome. In any organization, communication is important between staff and the external customers. There is a module called Forum, which is part of Drupal Core. Let us install that. Go to Extend, look for Forum. There you go. Click on that and install. If you cannot select it, that means um, there is something here that need a... If you need anything, it will say on the bracket it is disabled or it need to be installed. So at the moment it all looks clear. So we can select it and install. Module form has been enabled. That's good. So if you go to contents and add content now there is a, a new content type called forum topic before creating any forum topic we must have this the structure of the forum need to be adjusted go to structure forums the installation created a default gen general discussion forum you have uh, you can add forums and add containers so what are the differences? Okay, uh, a container is just a container. You can add forums under container. You can have many forums under one container. Let us look at an example. Here is a site called um, Forum Nixopia something. So this this part of topic, this is a container, and these are all the different forums within that container. Entertainment is a container and these are the different forums within that container. Like that. Within the forum you can have uh, various discussions like this. Okay, so you get an idea about a container and forums and discussions inside. So let us create some forums. For our company we can have an official forum as well as um, uh, social casual forum for staff. Let us create a couple of containers first. Add container and this is a, an official official container and here everything is official. We don't uh, change any of that. Um, so this this one is official alias save Alias needs start with a slash, it says. Okay. So because this is coming to the URL, it needs a slash, it says. Okay, that's fine. So we created a container. It says edit container. That means this is a container. That's the official container. Let's create another one. Let us call this um, social. Now we have two containers. One is the social one, the other is official one. And we create forums and add to this container. Add a forum. Let's say all the announcements goes here. Announcements. You can have an alias if you want. I mean it is a good idea to add some alias. So that it's easy to read at the address bar. Save. Oops, again I forgot. Oh, I have a bad memory. Save. So like that I will go ahead and create a few forums. Okay. Right, I went ahead and created a few forums. So let us rearrange all this. First of all, Drupal site me official. Officials go up. And um, under the official announcement and staff questions. You can add like this because it become this is the container, this is the forum. Staff questions, oops, like that. And all things social is a container and under this there is classified, general discussion and the message board. So what we have here, we have official container there and couple of forums inside it. There is a, a social container here and three 
forums inside it. Let us save that. Configuration options has been saved. Very good. Now let us head back to the site and see how it looks. There we are. This is the forum. If you click on that. Great. We have some forums created. By the way, if you, if you didn't see this tools menu here, what you have to do is go to go to structure block layout and uh, sidebar first you see tools make sure it is there sidebar first and configure and make sure the menu levels is set to 1 then only you see menus from the first level onwards see that and save block so it's already saved and go back to the site you should see the forums tools menu and forums there so click on the forum and you see this so if you want to add a, a topic just add a topic so let us add some topic now in a, in a previous movie we created a, a page called um, Paris announcement so let's put that in, in the in the forum topic so where is that over here that is the Paris for all let us copy that and put it in the forum. Copy forum. So it will be an official announcement, right? Click on the announcement and add a forum topic and copy and paste of that thingy. This is Paris. Paris. So that is the, the forum topic we added. Save and publish. So that is added. Now go back to the forum. See announcement. There is a topic. There is one topic there. An official announcement. And that is Paris. This is what's called these breadcrumbs. It will tell you exactly where this page is located. Let us go ahead and add few more uh, topics. So go under forums. Say. Uh, under classifiers, say staff has some things to sell. So add a forum topic. Yay, I want to sell a Harley Davidson. Why not? Let's sell one. Wow, that's a big picture. So I'm selling this Harley Davidson. You can add some details here. A text, the mid text here. Copy. Go back there and control V to paste it. So that, that's a save and publish so it keeps uh, who published it and where it be in which part of the forum it is and description and people can add comments to it say for example hey I want to buy it right and some text there save so there's a forum topic somebody want to sell it and somebody asking questions and response like that. So I will add one more um, classified. It is under classified and add one more topic. Right, that's an advertisement for a car. So let's go look at the forums. These two are containers and these are the forums. Under classified there is uh, two topics and three posts. Three posts means that including the, the, the questions. So click on the classified you see two classified there and you can click on the classified to look at the advertisements so that is forum is a really a great tool to have communications within the organization and also with outside world you can create the appropriate forums and let the employees interact that's great so in this movie we learned about what is a, a forum module, how you can use the forum to get some interaction going in your company. Thank you.